Hi everyone, welcome to another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now today we're going to be getting stampy. I'm going to be using this background stamp to create a really beautiful coloured dimensional image which is just going to be the basis for my card and then pop a sentiment over the top. You can do this with pretty much any background image. Um, definitely experiment, let me know in the comments what you've tried, what works. Um, the colour combinations I would suggest go for two pretty much like almost contrasting colour combinations, so two that are far apart. If you go for two that are too similar, say I went for a purple and a pink, wouldn't show up quite as well. Now I always get questions about my watercolour cardstock. I'm actually trying something new out today. This is a pad that I got from Amazon. Um, the reason I got it actually because it's A5 and uh, I I'm always cutting my A4 pads down to kind of almost near card size, so I thought I may as well just go straight for the A size five and um, A A5 size, <laughs> and it's 300 GSM, so I thought it must be a good heavy weight. So we'll try this out. It's I think it was like something like 9.99 on Amazon, um, but we'll try it out and see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop this into my stamp platform. Just like so. Now I'm working on a larger um, base than what my card will be, but I tend to do this when I'm stamping anyway and when I'm ink blending as well. So just for example's sake, I'm going to have a look at the size that I need. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink blend a background with my two chosen colours around about the size or slightly larger than my stamp. Now your ink blending doesn't need to be perfect whatsoever, this is just going to be your background. Now I'm going to lay my stamp just like so, and this is the bit that might seem a little odd. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that's picked up. My stamp's really dirty actually, it needs a wash to get that grip back, so I just have to be wary of that, make sure it's not going to move anywhere on my stamping platform. I go and give it a good wash. Now I'm going to blot just a little bit of ink down the bottom here and a little bit of seedless preserves. So I'm going to imagine that I've just used these two colours to stamp with. Just, just imagine. Um, and I'm going to kind of clean my stamp. So just a little bit like so. Dab off as much excess as possible. And then when I'm cleaning my stamps, what I tend to do is a spritz of water. Now, the way this technique came about is that um, I was actually cleaning a stamp and I decided to blot the, the water off onto uh, a, an already blended background just to see what it would look like and it looked really cool. So spritz with water with a tiny little bit of ink left on there in opposite colours. So I've put pink at the top green at the bottom. I think I did anyway, I should have done. <laughs> and with lots of water on there, I'm just going to press this into the background that I've just blended and hold that for a moment or two. Now this will work with either distressed oxides or distressed inks. There we go. So you can see we've got this really rough sort of looking pattern. Now what you want to do is completely dry this and completely clean and dry your stamp. Okay, so all cleaned and dried up, we've got that lovely sort of watercolour effect background. We're now going to stamp our details. So come back to one of your colours. It might be a good idea to try this twice with the different colour as the dominant colour on top. You could even go for a completely different colour, maybe a striking black or something. See how that looks. Um, but yeah, have some fun with testing out different colours and shades. I'm going to go with the green. This is a lovely lucky clover in that Distress Oxide range. And I've kept my stamp in exactly the same place, the whole process, and the same with the paper. So I know when I fold this over that that's going to be hitting exactly the right place. Um, and that water that affected the background the last time we did this will have bled slightly. So it's kind of going to give it a little bit of a glow. Okay, so we're ready for reveal and gorgeous i love i love the dimension now can you see just beyond the text for example here's a really really lovely um effect here look you've got that white glow that white outline around your stamping i just think that's absolutely beautiful as a background it looks dimensional it looks textured it looks as if things are it's kind of layered, three-dimensional. So I'm going to now just allow that ink to dry, first of all, and then I'm going to trim this out right around the edge and pop it onto a card front. 
Now while I was cleaning my stamp up I couldn't resist then grabbing a piece of scrap cardstock and uh, stamping the watery green ink into the white cardstock and then re-stamping with the same purple and this time I got another completely different effect which I thought was absolutely beautiful as well. I'm not even sure which one I prefer and this one looks a little bit more like a 3D sort of almost like a newsprint look. I just think it's fabulous. I'm going to create cards with both of these. Now the stamp that I've used here is part of my Textures Mariposa range. You'll find that linked down below. I know there's about a handful of these left in stock, so if you do love it, um, definitely grab that really quickly. It comes with a range of um, small sentiments, some textured stamps as well, smaller background stamps, and some beautiful sort of butterfly identification images too. Okay, it's official. I genuinely cannot decide which of these two I prefer. Um, I really love the deep dark colours, the purples and greens on the first solid one, but then I also really like that kind of three-dimensional effect of the second. Uh, it's not often that I create a second card with waste that I love more than the first, um, but I just think this one's got a little bit more contrast. Now, it may be that if we use lighter colours, paler colours, for the first technique that... Uh, the second wouldn't look as good, but the first would look even better. I'm really keen to try this with browns and vintage colours as well. I think that would look really awesome. Um, let me know in the comments which one you think's better. And as I say, the stamp set is available, link down below. If you love this video, definitely check out my 5 Minute Makes, the Friday 5 Minute Makes playlist um, on YouTube. I'll pop that up just here. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe. I often try to upload tips and techniques like this. Take care everybody and have a fabulous weekend. Oh,